ของก๋วยจอก President please be seated President please be seated องทุนนจบเลยประกาศบรรทอกจำนาการได้ทีสามการ The court is now in session ลุงจ๊อกสิทธิ์ด้วย Today and as uh, the trial chamber is scheduled and informs the concerned parties, the chamber continues to hear the testimony of the witness Himan, and when it's concluded, we'll hear testimony of another uh, civil party. There is 2 C C T 270. Ms. Sakobote, please report the attendance to the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. Greffier. Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Mr. Nautier is present in the Monsieur holding Nguyen cell downstairs. He has waived his right to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the graffier. The civil party who is to conclude his testimony today, that is Mr. Himan, is present and uh, ready to be called by the chamber. The upcoming civil party, that is to TCCP 270, is present and ready to be called by the chamber. Thank you. President, thank you, Ms. Sakobote. The Chamber now Merci, decides on the request by Nunchier. The Chamber has received a waiver from Nunchier dated 28 September 2015, which states that due to his health, headache, back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long, and in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to waive his right to participate in and be present at the 28th September 2015 hearing. He affirms that his counsel has advised him about the consequences of this waiver, that it cannot in any account be construed as a waiver of his right to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented to or admitted by this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report on Nguyen Chi by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC dated 28 September 2015, which notes that Nguyen Chi has chronic back pain and dizziness when he sits for long, and recommends that the chamber grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC Internal Rules, the Chamber grants Nguyen his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs via audio-visual means. The Chamber instructs the aviate unit personnel to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that he can follow it, and this applies through the whole day. The Chamber has just received a uh, submission by the Office of the Co-Prosecutors co to accept the disclosures of written records of interviews from cases 003 and 004 and placed in the current case file pursuant to Rule 87.4. And the defense team for Q. Sampong wishes to respond to that uh, submission. And for that reason, the Chamber will give the floor to the defense team to make the oral response to the submission I request by the OCP before we proceed with hearing the testimony of the civil party. And defense counsel, you may proceed. 
Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, bonjour à tous. Um, Peut-être une précision, uh, ce que nous avons demandé um, dans le mail à la Chambre et non pas de pouvoir répondre oralement, mais la possibilité um, de demander oralement un délai justement pour cette réponse, pour deux raisons. D'une part, cette requête concerne uniquement des uh, déclarations écrites um, issues d'instructions en cours dans les procès 003 et 004. C'est une requête qui est en lien direct avec la requête E363 que nous avons faite à la Chambre précisément sur la manière dont ces documents venant des autres instructions entrent au fur et à mesure dans notre procès. Et donc nous souhaiterions pouvoir répondre à cette requête des coprocureurs après que la Chambre aura rendu sa décision sur notre requête E363. Donc c'était la première branche de notre demande. Évidemment, la demande de délai est d'autant plus nécessaire qu'il s'agit dans le cadre de cette dernière requête E370 des coprocureurs d'une demande de versement en preuve de 25 déclarations de témoins, ce qui est un nombre important et qu'en tout état de cause, euh, en dehors de euh, l'éclairage de la Chambre que nous attendons sur euh, ces déclarations 003 et 004, il y a pour pouvoir répondre sur le fond euh, la nécessité d'un travail qui demande du temps. Donc euh, la demande n'est pas une réponse euh, à la requête des coprocureurs, mais une demande de délai compte tenu des éléments que je viens d'évoquer. Pour être précise, nous souhaitons que le délai de réponse ne court qu'à compter de la notification de votre décision dans, euh, sur la requête E363 que nous avons déposée il y a quelques jours. Bah. President, the international deputy co-prosecutor, you have the floor. Merci, Monsieur Thank le Président. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour President, and good à, good morning, à vous, uh, to à Madame et Messieurs les juges et à toutes les parties. And uh, je to me rends compte effectivement qu'il s'agit d'une demande très limitée à ce stade. Il s'agit de reporter la possibilité de répondre à cette requête d'admission de de 25 procès de l'audition. Malgré tout, je crois que si on accède à la demande formulée par la défense de Q-Sampan, ce sera trop tard pour utiliser ces procès verbaux en temps utile, c'est-à-dire durant la section qui comporte le segment qui porte sur euh, les on the cham. À moins, bien entendu, et c'est ce que nous Unless, souhaitions, want, que course, la Chambre puisse prendre ses décisions sur les communications aussi vite que possible, as soon as possible, ce qui résoudrait le problème. Which, of would the problem. En attendant, But nous pensons meantime, que les parties devraient pouvoir utiliser tous les procès verbaux qui ont été communiqués il y a déjà un certain temps. Au fin de poser des questions aux parties civiles et aux témoins. C'est d'ailleurs ce que la défense de Nunchia et le Nunchia a déjà fait dans le passé, sans pour autant avoir, fait, avoir mis au dossier une requête d'utiliser euh, ces procès-verbaux, de les mettre en preuve uh, sur base de uh, la règle 87. C'est d'autant plus utile que euh, parmi so that les procès-verbaux qui font l'objet de notre requête E370, il y en a certains qui sont particulièrement importants, important, certains qui, comportent, qui, pardon, qui portent sur les déclarations de témoins à venir, soit un témoin qui devrait comparaître cette semaine ou la semaine prochaine, de TCW 950, soit un témoin que la Chambre avait souhaité entendre, proprio mutu. Et c'est, euh, si je ne me trompe pas, 
de DCW987. Mais au-delà de cela, je pense que pour la manifestation de la vérité, il serait particulièrement utile que les parties puissent se référer à ces documents, à des citations de ces documents dans euh, leur interrogatoire des témoins cette semaine et dans les semaines à venir. Bien entendu, encore une fois, nous attendons et nous espérons qu'une décision de la Chambre pourra être prise plus rapidement, ce qui permettra évidemment de résoudre ce problème qui revient euh, de manière récurrente et qui prend beaucoup de temps, euh, important, du temps précieux de la Chambre. C'est tout ce que nous avions à, à dire à ce sujet. Merci. Merci. Merci, Monsieur le Président, pour Thank une you, réplique uh, rapide. Uh, premièrement, uh, reply, je voudrais que uh, l'on puisse uh, utiliser les mots like uh, clairement. Uh, uh, like Aujourd'hui, nous avons une, recette, quatre, une requête 87.4 de certains documents dont le procureur nous indique que c'est très important pour la manifestation de la vérité. Si je ne m'abuse, si on nous dit que ces documents ont été communiqués il y a quelques mois, je ne comprends pas pourquoi le procureur ne pouvait pas, à ce moment-là, il y a quelques mois, Faire cette requête 87.4, c'était si important. Ça, c'est ma première observation. Deuxièmement, euh, je rappelle, euh, quand nous nous étions euh, euh, plusieurs fois objecté à l'utilisation de ces documents ou euh, lorsque nous avions demandé des délais à l'époque euh, pour examiner ces documents, la Chambre avait indiqué qu'elle faisait une distinction entre des, do des déclarations qui avaient été communiquées simplement et des déclarations dont l'admission avait été demandée en preuve. Donc on ne vient pas aujourd'hui nous opposer euh, le fait qu'il y aurait eu une communication il y a quelques mois dans une masse euh, importante de documents alors que euh, clairement il y a une distinction qui est faite entre documents communiqués dans une, euh, une, un nombre important de classeurs et euh, des documents dont on demande le versement en preuve. Troisièmement, euh, j'aimerais bien que euh, les coprocureurs nous donnent les références en nous disant que ce n'est pas la première fois que nous ça, que nous aurions utilisé à de nombreuses reprises hein, les déclarations 003 et 004 euh, dans le cadre de nos interrogatoires. Je rappelle que la position de la défense hein, de Kessampin a toujours été très claire. Lorsqu'il s'agit, et c'est le cas également pour euh, euh, la, la personne, le témoin qui doit venir euh, comparaître devant la Chambre, quand il s'agit de déclarations antérieures d'une personne qui va comparaître, il n'y a pas d'objection à ce que euh, les déclarations soient versées en preuve, puisque ça fait partie euh, également de l'examen de sa crédibilité. Donc euh, il n'y avait pas de difficulté sur euh, les témoins qui doivent comparaître. En revanche, sur euh, des témoignages de personnes qui ne doivent pas comparaître, qui sont vivantes, euh, et pour lesquelles on ne demande pas la comparaison, oui, il y a à chaque fois systématiquement une opposition de la part de euh, l'équipe de Christian que c'est euh, les, les euh, éléments que je souhaitais donner, apporter so comme précision dans le cadre de, de, de ma réponse. Le Président. Et la Chambre Submission made by the defense team for Kills and Pond, that is document E363, is being uh, considered by the chamber. And the chamber is confident that uh, it will provide a response to that uh, submission very soon so that all the matters uh, can be cleared through all the parties concerned. We understand we all are trying our best uh, to proceed in a way that is expeditious. And the Chamber will also respond to the request made by le the co-prosecutors uh, in due course. Let me now hear Montier. the remaining testimony of uh, the civil party le Himon le and court officer, please, uh, the, uh, the civil party into the courtroom. Thank you. Um, Excusez-moi, Monsieur le Président, juste uh, pour um, just, um, clarification, est-ce que je comprends que vous so trancherez sur ma demande, ma demande de délai ultérieurement je, 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 Pour être clair. I, I, please, 
can I be clear about this? Yes, uh, that is correct. Is it exact? The decision is not yet made. We are deliberating your request, that is document E363. And the decision will be issued soon. La Chambre rendra sa décision bientôt. This is our response. That will be issued to you soon, and the chamber, Vous at the same time, considering the submission Et made by the co-prosecutors, it would be uh, nice for everyone if we can issue decisions Et on the two uh, submissions, bien, uh, one by uh, your team and si another one by the co-prosecutors, although its nature is rather complicated, and we will try our best uh, to issue our decision in due course, and it will be soon. Donc très bientôt. As this is uh, to deal with the practical uh, matter before us. So today, look, him man, President. Man. Good morning, Mr. Himman. Are you Bonjour, ready? Êtes -vous prêt? And the chamber will give the floor to the defense teams to put the questions to you. First, pour leur the defense team for Nunchi. And counsel, you may proceed. Um, thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Um, good morning, Council. Good morning, Mr. Witness. Um, I have a few questions that I would like to put to you uh, this morning, following up um, your testimony of um, two weeks ago. Um, let me first ask you some questions in relation to events um, in uh, 1975. Uh, not in your village, but um, a little, little further down the river, in Kopal. Um, you, when asked the question about this, spoke briefly about uh, the rebellion in Kopal. Um, you also uh, spoke about the rebellion to uh, Iva Osman. Um, you have been quoted uh, in his book, uh, Mr. President, that is E3-9336, uh, um, English BRN 00218503. French 00286655, and uh, Khmer 00218496. And, um, um, Mr. Witness, you talked about um, the rebellion being crushed um, in 1975 um, by the use of uh, artillery 
and uh, marines, uh, boats from the marines. Uh, who told you this? Do you remember? Navire de la marine. Qui vous l'a dit? Vous en souvenez-vous? Man. While I was in the village, Réponse. I heard people talking about it. J'étais dans le village et j'ai entendu des gens en parler. The rumor spread among the villagers in the village where I was living at the time about that event. Dans mon village. And I heard about it. Au moment des faits. Et c'est là que j'en ai entendu parler. That is all. And do you remember who told you um, about the use of marines and artillery to quote unquote smash the village? Écraser le village. Pulvériser le village. I heard the uh, villagers. Talking about it. Ce sont les villageois qui en parlaient. But I cannot recall who Mais actually said that I was busy working Moi, in order to survive. À travailler pour survivre. I was striving hard uh, to uh, work at the Je time, and while I was fort. working, à I overheard people talking about this. Et alors que je travaillais, j'ai entendu des gens en parler. Um, this all happened in what is called the East Zone, uh, Sector 21. Um, when people talk to you about uh, the crushing of this rebellion, uh, did they speak about uh, which kind of forces crushed that rebellion? Were these district forces or rather forces from the sector or the zone? Réponse. At that time, I heard about uh, the so-called Khmer Rouge. À l'époque, j'avais entendu parler des. Although I was not sure as to who they were referring to. Mais je ne savais pas exactement à qui ils faisaient référence. As I stated référence. early, I was busy working, and I only moi, overheard uh, people talking about this. J'ai simplement entendu des gens en parler. Um, very well, Mr. Witness. Um, you also um, answered a question two weeks ago about um, a rumor being spread um, that, quote unquote, the Khmer Rouge considered the charm to be the enemy number one. Um, was it indeed? A rumor, something that villagers told each other, or was it more than that? Que des villageois disaient, ou était-ce un peu plus que cela? Bah, nia pum ni yei da, nia pum ni yei da. The villagers uh, talked about it, and I only heard them talking about it while I was working. Et moi, j'ai entendu les villageois en parler alors que je travaillais. And uh, later on, after I heard about it, Et plus tard, après en avoir I heard parler, about uh, the event uh, connected eu, to the uh, Jam people. But as I stressed, I only heard people talking Jam. about it, and I cannot dis, recall uh, as who parler, were uh, talking about this. So I didn't dare look at the faces uh, of those people, oser, uh, and I visage. concentrated on Moi, my work. Je me sur ma tâche. Um, Mr. Witness, I'm asking you this question because in that same Monsieur book témoin, um, question, um, from Eva Osman that I just referred to, uh, you are being cited um, by saying that um, the fact that the charm were the enemy number one was announced um, announced in the villages. Um, am I now to understand that this wasn't some announcement, but it was just what villagers were telling each other? Is that correct?
ដំណាក់ដល់ពីខ្ញុំជិញមានវិធីជាតិវិធីនំមុខតំណាងដើមដល់ដល់ um, the ERN is 00218503, um, French 00286655, and Khmer 00218496. It says, um, and I quote, in 74 they pressured. Look, 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 with the paper, they didn't have me in Panya, what price is that? But I'm not losing the French council. Please hold on. There is no uh, French translation through the uh, channel. Please uh, check it. Council Copper, uh, please uh, continue and uh, please uh, repeat uh, the document and the relevant year uh, numbers. Um, yes, uh, Mr. President, as said, it is the, the book of Eva Osman, E3-9336, uh, on the bottom of page 153, the English ERN 00218496, and French 00286655, and the quote reads as follows. In 1974, they pressured us even more. They announced that the charm was, uh, quote unquote, enemy number one. Khmer enemy uh, was enemy number two. Um, so, my question um, again, Mr. Civil Party, um, is is it correct that? Um, uh, it was something that the villagers were saying among each other, or was it rather something um, that was announced? So which one of the two is it? Um, concerning concerning enemy. At that time, the village chief was also a jam person. His name was Tam. During the meeting at that time, I was not there in the meeting. I was uh, digging up uh, the dirt. I was in the village. I learned the information from Tam, the village chief, who was the one who made the announcement that uh, Jam enemy was the first uh, in the list. That is why at that time we heard about uh, Jam enemies. Why I heard about this? Uh, because at that time, the Gospel was referred to as Gospel because they were afraid that uh, there would be a rebellion at Gospel. So once again, Jam people were referred to as the first enemy in the list. Um, Mr. Witness, assuming for a second that um, your hearsay information uh, is correct. Why would um, Tum, who himself was a charm, say um, that the charm were enemy number one? Answer. I am also doubtful why a charm people eh plus, was considered the, the number one enemy. I am in doubt as of now. 
I do not know why they uh, refer to uh, jam people as uh, the number one enemy. And later on, I uh, noticed that uh, jam people were taken away and killed, including me. Um, I will get back to that uh, a little bit later, Mr. Witness. Um, you also testified as to um, you and others b being forced um, to eat pork. Um, you said that happened in 75, 76. Um, can you explain to us how that went? Um, how were people, charm people, forced against their will to eat pork? Um, was there enough pork meat around to, to force charm people uh, to, to, to eat this, or was there not enough fish uh, from the Mekong River? Can you explain to me a little bit how that went, this forcing? Answer. During the period, charm people were forced to eat Pork. À cette période-là, les chams ont été forcés de manger du porc. La religion a été interdite de prier ou de pratiquer notre religion. We were told on nous a donné à tous du porc à manger. Short, on nous a dit qu'il fallait que nous to become a one nation that is my nation. No other nations were allowed to be in the country. There was only one my nation. We were told to cut our hair or to have our hair cut. We were prohibited from praying, from worship. All this is what I have known, later on, the situation became uh, worse. There were no needs to have guards at uh, the kitchen. The people were working very hard to gain a favor from Khmer Rouge. So no need to guards to être dans les bonnes grâces des Khmer Rouges. Guard the place, Et donc, the, the kitchen, and uh, people, even a charm themselves, gens, uh, would uh, report on uh, other charm. From time to time, charm families uh, were taken away, one after another. Les unes après les so people in the regime uh, were Donc, uh, trying to gain a favor from uh, Cham people. Uh, they wanted to be considered loyal people by the Khmer Rouge. And at that time, as I have uh, told you, Cham families would disappear one after another. I do not know the reason why they disappeared. Um, thank you for your very long answer, Mr. Witness, but I would like to focus on one particular point. You said that the village chief was Cham himself. Um, your village is right on the Mekong River, um, which is full of fish, as we all know. Um, there are a lot of, there's a lot of evidence suggesting there was not enough to eat. So can you give me one example where you witnessed yourself uh, a charm being forced against his or her will to eat pork. When did this happen? Where were you? Can you give me a concrete example, please? Answer. I was within group of people. If uh, I refused to eat pork, uh, si I'm afraid, I was afraid that uh, the, port, wood, the bullet would uh, be shot. Eh bien, peur que me tire I would be shot or I would be uh, bitten. So on it applies abattu, to other abattu. people. If uh, we refused, si nous refusions to eat a pork, uh, pork, we would risk our lives. Alors, nous we had to eat pork. 
There were lots of fish, but uh, we were forced to eat pork uh, since they said uh, there was only one Khmer nation during the time. Is my understanding correct that you didn't actually witness somebody being physically forced to eat pork, but it was rather a general fear that by not eating pork you would somehow violate um, rules? Is that how I should understand your testimony? Je suis d'accord avec ce que vous venez de dire. There was an announcement that if one refused eating pork, that person would be considered opposing on the day has to eat pork uh, while weeping to save their own lives. Uh, I still have some questions on this uh, topic, but I'll move on because of time, uh, Mr. Witness. Let me now go to um, 1977. And more particularly to what you call the second lunar month, um, when you married uh, another charm girl, um, your present wife. Um, just to be sure, second lunar month in 77, would that be February 77? President, I heard there was no Khmer translation. President, uh, is there any problem with uh, translation system? President, you may now resume your questioning because there was a glitch in the system. While ago. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I will repeat my question, uh, Mr. Witness. Um, and that is, uh, my question was about the marriage, your wedding to um, your present wife, um, also a charm uh, woman. Uh, you, s you, you testified that you married her in the second lunar month of 1977. Would that be February 77? Concerning my marriage, it happened a long time ago. I am quite old now. I may not recall it well. I recall that I got a marriage. I got married in the Pol Pot time. Is it correct that um, when you got married um, to your present wife, you were married together with 50 uh, other couples at a ceremony at Wat Otrakun? Answer yes, that is correct. It was not only me and my wife who were in the meeting. Perhaps there were 50 couples at the time, including uh, my wife and me. And uh, we were forced uh, to eat pork during uh, the ceremony. Um, I'll get back to that maybe. Um, do you recall, Mr. Witness, whether there were charm among uh, these other 50 couples that got married at uh, Wat Otrakun? Uh, 
answer. I was there in the marriage ceremony. Other people as well were in the ceremony, wedding ceremony. I do not recall all the names. I understand, but were there also Cham who got married? Cham among the 50 couples. Parmi les 50 couples, il y avait également des Cham. Mien. Answer yes. Réponse oui, il y en avait. There were Cham people. Il y avait des Cham. And I also was there in the marriage ceremony. Et moi aussi, uh, my relatives là, were also there, and uh, my people Mais were also in the marriage là, ceremony. And do you recall how many of the couples were Cham and how many of the 50 couples were Khmer? I cannot recall it, Mr. Lawyer. I only recall that there was a marriage at that time, and I do not know how many couples were there in the marriage. I do not have the full detail of the information. There may have been around 50 couples in the marriage. And do you recall whether Cham women were marrying Cham men and Khmer women were marrying Khmer men? Do you recall that? Answer. We were advised to become Khmer nation. I do not know how they paired to me with my wife. My wife was actually my fiancée. ma femme était en fait ma fiancée. And uh, there was another charm person who charm was paired up with a Khmer girl uh, who was uh, his or her fiancé at the time. Qui était sa à ce Were you, when, mar when marrying together with the other 50 couples, were you Question. at Pendant the, the site de at avec les within the compound of Watotoku? And if yes, where were you exactly? de Wat Otrakun et si oui ou exactement dans l'enceinte. The marriage uh, took place within the compound Le mariage a eu lieu à l'intérieur de l'enceinte de la pagode de Otrakun. The venue was located to the west of the pagoda Et behind the pagoda, pagoda I, from my recollection. And did you reach that point by going um, around the pagoda Et or going through the compound of the pagoda? I went directly to the table which were laid uh, at that place. I did not go or wander around because I was afraid of the time. I, because I was afraid at the time. If I happened to wander around, they would accuse me this or that. So I went directly to the table of the later for everyone. Um, 
when you're approaching Mothot Raccoon with the river in your back, vous aviez donc la rivière uh, dans you can go vous vous approchez du straight, Raccoon. taking the main vous entrance, or you can go around eastwards. Um, vous pouvez do you recall which route you, you took vous -vous to get to the ceremony? Answer. Réponse. I do not recall it well because it happened a long time ago. I am sure that I was told to attend the wedding ceremony at Otokun Pagoda. I did not know which way I uh, used at that time, which road I was uh, traveling uh, through at that time. I am quite old now. Even you can see my teeth. Uh, I have no more teeth, only a few. Um, when you were on the compound of Wat Otrakun. Were you able to see the temple, uh, the big building on the left side, uh, when you enter the main entrance? Answer. I never Réponse. climbed up uh, into the temple. At that time, Je I went directly to the venue, to the table laid for couples to get married. Pour que les être unis. So everyone uh, were heading to the tables and Tout we were paired up. Alors, no, no one uh, climbed up into the Personne temple. You... It happened a long time ago. Il y a I cannot recall it well, but uh, all I could remember is that I was there attending Mais the mari marriage là. ceremony. À la cérémonie de mariage. Do you recall hearing Question, vous avoir entendu uh, at that time in 77 whether there were any prisoners being si kept in the building of the temple on the compound of the pagoda? Dans l'enceinte de la pagode. Answer. Réponse. There was a rumor around that there were chants, there were shackles within uh, the compound of Pagoda. This is what I have heard. I myself did not uh, go and see whether there were actually uh, chants and shackles. So I heard the uh, I heard the rumor around, so I uh, was afraid uh, in light of that rumor. Um, do you recall whether in 77 when you got married and the years subsequently and there was a uh, security parameter around the compound of Wat Otrakun? Hmm. Answer. I myself did not go and see. I heard the rumor, and in rumor, light of this, I was in fear. I did not dare to wander entendu, around. Peur, I was focusing on my work. Promener, no one did dare to Personne enter that pagoda at that time. À after we heard uh, 
Something's wrong. We would be afraid. We heard from others about the matter. Um, let me read something to you, Mr. Witness. Um, something that another witness testified to in this chamber, in this room. Um, uh, um, Mr. President, that's the, the testimony of uh, uh, Tai Kum Hun, uh, his testimony on the 16th of September 2015 at around um, 14.32. Um, I'm asking a question. The question is, is as follows. So there was a parameter of 700 to 800 meters around the pagoda where people were not allowed to come. But was there an extra parameter in such a way that they, as you said, did, as you said, did not allow people to live in the village? And then uh, the witness answers, you meant outside the premises of the pagoda? If you talk about the external parameter of the pagoda, it means actually the parameter of the premises of the pagoda reached the river bank, and that area was also restricted. So allow me to clarify, to the north of the pagoda was the riverfront, and to the south was a pond. And then a little further down he says, and I quote, um, all I know was that from the river bank up to the compound of the pagoda, that area was not allowed to walk or trespass into. Um, so, um, Mr. Witness, this witness seems to say that from the pagoda all the way down to the river uh, was a restricted area where people couldn't come. Is that your recollection as well? Votre souvenir. Ben, nhóm đây nơi nông thôn Thạch Châu, Quân Đà Lư, living in Saxo village. J'habitais dans le village de Saxo à l'époque. I heard about uh, that about what you have just said, uh, the restricted area, no one dared to walk through or pass uh, that restricted uh, area. No people uh, were courageous enough to walk through that restricted location. Um, Do you recall how Question. far apart the external borders of the parameter were? Did they stretch from the compound of the pagoda all the way to the river? Or was the parameter even bigger than that? Answer. I have no idea, lawyer. Réponse. Je n'en ai pas la moindre idée, monsieur. I have told you already what I know. Je vous ai déjà dit ce que je savais. As I said, in light of the rumor, everyone was afraid to go close. À cause de la rumeur, tout le monde avait peur de s'approcher. To the restricted area. De cette zone interdite. Um, let me move on to what you testified to um, two weeks ago about you um, walking in a parade of arrested charm. Um, you escaped together with your wife and then you hit um, 100, me 100 meters away from uh, the pagoda. Now, can you tell me exactly where you were? Because that's still unclear to me. Um, where were you um, when you have the pagoda in your back? Where were you exactly when you heard uh, people screaming um, allegedly while they're being killed?
And uh, the place the way the I was hiding was about 100 meters. For this reason, I could uh, hear the screaming. Et And what was exactly 100 meters uh, to the east Question. of uh, the pagoda? Et what was there that allowed you to hide? À cet endroit qui vous a permis de vous cacher. Answer. There were bushes. Il y avait des arbustes. Small bushes. Des petits buissons. I was hiding in the bush. Et je me suis caché dans les buissons. Where I could hear the screaming. De là, je pouvais entendre les cris. Oh Allah. J'ai entendu oh Allah. And from there I could say it was about 100 meters away from the pits. I was afraid, uh, you know, I was uh, concerned of my life, so I did not pay any attention to other matters. Can you give us an, est an estimate as to how far you were away from the river? The Mekong River? I can only give you an estimate. It was about half kilometer from where I was hiding. So roughly it's about 500 meters. And how far were you from the road? That is eastward uh, from the pagoda, the road that, that is directly on the east side of the pagoda. How far were you? De la pagode. Quelle distance? Are you talking about uh, the, the, the road to the? On the east Vous side of the, the pagoda, the the if there is the case, I think the, the si distance is cas, quite similar from where I was hiding. So from the pond I was hiding Donc, uh, to that uh, location is about endroit, one kilometer. This is a rough estimate uh, only. C est, c est what is exactly Question. one kilometer? Can you be a little more specific? Vous être plus précis? The rough estimate is about one kilometer. Of course, I did not have any tool to uh, take any real actual measure of the distance. But what is one kilometer away? Is that the pond where you were hiding? One kilometer away from the river? Or one kilometer away from the pagoda? One kilometer du fleuve, one kilometer de la pagode. Pouvez-vous nous dire ce qu'il en est? The distance is uh, from the pond that I was hiding Depuis où je me cachais, to the Mekong River Bank. Fleuve. So let's say it's about 1,000 uh, meters. Donc, so then the, the pond must be about half donc, the distance, 500 meters away from Wat Otrakun. Is that correct? 
jusqu'à Wat Otrokun, donc à 500 mètres. Est-ce exact I am unsure since I can only give you an estimate. C'est euh, approximatif. And I do not know the distance from where I was hiding to the pagoda. Et je ne sais pas à quelle distance séparait euh, ma cachette. But we're talking about the same pond that you referred to um, Copper, in your testimony two temps, weeks ago, uh, when you said parlé, um, Khmer Rouge troops fired quote-unquote M79, B40 and AK rifles um, bullets at me in the pond. That's the same pond where you were fired upon by heavy artillery, is that correct? ce même étang dans lequel vous étiez alors qu'on vous tirait dessus avec de l'artillerie lourde. Réponse. The Khmer Rouge fired at the pond Les Khmer Rouge ont tiré dans l'étang où je me cachais. They fire uh, uh, many shots. Ils ont tiré plusieurs fois. Into the pond, and they also fired the M79. Et ont même tiré à l'aide de M79. I was hiding in the water in the pond the whole day that day. Toute la journée, ce and I only heard uh, the sounds of uh, bullets uh, being fired into the pond. Son que faisaient les balles alors qu'elles étaient Tiré dans les and uh, by nightfall, they actually surrounded uh, the pond. Le soir venu, ils ont encerclé l'étang. And actually, uh, next morning, they had uh, villagers, many villagers coming Et to storm over the solo part of the pond. Ils ont fait venir des villageois qui avaient piétiné les parties d'eau plus profondes. Uh, Next morning, uh, that is after they guarded the pond overnight. However, I was uh, laying under the water Mais moi, uh, that day. Caché sous but were they firing shots only at you, or Mais were there other people in the pond as well? In your direction, were there other people in the pond? In the pond, uh, there Réponse. were only my wife and I, and there was nobody else. And of course, uh, you can imagine, they actually uh, fired into the pond uh, in order to, to, to kill me, but luckily we were not hit. Heureusement, aucune des balles. How is it, Mr. Witness, that Question. you know that they fired M79 and B, B40 ammunition at you? How is it that you found out that that happened when you were hiding for three months and 29 days? Je me suis caché dans I did not see Réponse. the bullets. Mm -hmm. However, ah, I débat. heard the, the loud noise of le bruit B40 being fired. And from the sound, Donc, I could son, uh, say it uh, was a B40. And the same thing applies to the M79 when it popped up. And then loud noise, I knew that it was the sound of M79 being fired. Also, the sound from AK-47 is different from the sound of M79 or B40. 
I live through the wall time uh, uh, period, and I could uh, distinguish the different, different sounds from different uh, guns or bullets uh, being uh, fired. So, all this heavy artillery was used to get only you and your wife out of the swamp or the pond. Is that correct? Vous et votre épouse de l'État. Est-ce exact? It is very difficult for me Réponse. to respond to your question. I didn't know of their intention, but uh, from what I knew, they fired upon us in the pond. Ils nous ont tiré dessus alors que nous étions dans l'étang. I heard they uh, came to fire at the pond. Ils sont venus and that Cham people were being considered enemy number one. And I did not know the motive behind uh, pas les their actions. De leur geste. However, before they were they, they fired upon us, I heard uh, they accused the Cham people as their enemy number one, and of course, it was one of the Cham people living in the area. Nous avaient accusé qu'ils avaient accusé les Cham d'être l'ennemi numéro un, et c'était un Cham qui vivait dans la région. You said must have taken place somewhere in the middle of '77, whereas the Cham being enemy number one was something you heard in '75 or '76. Is there a connection? Oui, le lien. As I stated, I do not recall the date or the year. Je ne me souviens pas de la date. Ni de l'année. But while I was in Saxo village, Mais I heard them alors que j'étais dans le village de Saxo, j'ai entendu les gens I dire cela. Je les ai entendus dire year. cela. Je ne peux vous dire l'année précise. Oui, là, qui est là. And for me. I am not really sure at all about the date or Je the year, and let me stress that again and again. Je vous le but I did hear they say Mais Cham les people dire was their enemy, number one enemy. Numéro. President, uh, thank you, Council, and thank Merci, you, uh, Civil Party. Merci, Monsieur, it is Civil now time for us to have a short break. We take a, a break opportun. now and resume at 10.30. Court officer, please assist the Merci Civil Party during the break time at the room for Civil Parties and Witnesses and have him return to uh, the proceedings again at 10.30. Je suis en train de débattre.